Hiya fam, welcome back. Hope you guys are having a great day. I'm Joe. Hi, I'm Dan. We're back with another reaction. It's more Vikings. Which one, Dan? We're on episode 12, The Vision. Previously, Ragnar has come back. He's made the challenge. Nobody accepted. Except Ivar. Except Ivar. And nobody really wants to go to England. Yeah. And everybody seems to be doing okay. So, Skull fam. All hides and fun. All time for fun and hide. They got everything here now, don't they? I said I've never seen the place so lively. What are you doing here? I'm going to raid England again. Why do you want to raid England again? To exact revenge on the destruction of the settlement. Yeah, my brother and his family went with you. Mm. You knew all along and didn't tell us. And now you want us to go on revenge? Okay, that's a bit much. King Ragnar Lodbrok, you were on your own. Everyone hates you now. Okay, I need to pick on the guy. He does have to atone, I'll say that. You'll have to travel down here, along the coast of Frankia. It will be hard not to be detected. Rolo has a new kingdom on the coast. Oh, that's right, Rolo. He's, still got a, he's living out in uh, Normandy now. Uh -huh. So are you going to England? That is a plan. There is one thing I need your help with. What? I need ships. I will give you ships. That's what's easy. <laughs> <laughs> your son is nice. Huh? You've become a man in my absence. Mm. <laughs> Joe agrees. I'm proud of you. I don't even need to say it. But yes, you have Bjorn. She's my special servant now. And she has a lot of reasons to be grateful to me. I'm not sure I believe you, little brother. I certainly don't. It makes me so happy you're with a woman. Papa, you should have children. I probably already have. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't count. You don't have to love the woman. As a king's son, you can have as many women as you like. Hey. So you loved Ragnar when you married him? Of course I loved him. Some say that you bewitched him. Not quite, but... I just want to know if she's ever loved anyone except Harbard. Hmm. <laughs> Why even bring that up? She has always loved... me. <laughs> <laughs> she felt pity for you. We all feel pity for you. But sometimes, we wish that she'd left you to the wolves. What an awkward dinner here. Mm -hmm. This is like every family gathering is kind of awkward. Yeah. I thought... It's okay. Yeah, he's pissed. Go on, little Ivor. What are you gonna do? He's gonna kill you as soon as he gets to you. I can't say I fully blame the kid. No, he's got some anger issues there. Oh. It's, uh, it's Fine Hair are. and Fine Hair's brother. Well, it looks like they have allies. I mean, he's still ambitious, I see. It's been years and you're still no better than you were? Come on. <laughs> it's a fine fleet, though. King Harald, you're an Ironside. It's been a long time. We have all heard of your exploits. That you captured Rogaland and overthrew King Anderson and Earl Eyal. Jesus Christ. <laughs> So they've improved a little bit. You are near to your ultimate ambition. I think it is impossible, Bjorn. How can I ever overthrow King Ragnar? Well, if you were here two weeks ago, would you had your chance? Yeah. <laughs> She's got bad timing, that's all. Loki! Loki! Everybody's just so chummy. It's good to see they're not at each other's throats like yeah. they used to be. I have a new boat to show you all. A boat that will take us to new worlds. We should drink to that. Skull. 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 Plenty of time to fight each other later, I guess. Mm. My son Bjorn and your son Fitzhug will go on this journey together. Perhaps we should make a sacrifice. And we can both officiate. You forget, Lagatha, I am the queen. I never forget anything. Careful, Ashlug. <laughs> that one's ambitious, too. They're not suffering from population problems anymore. I like this. Mm -hmm. Years of peace will do that. You've never seen a party this big. Yeah. It's crazy. He wanted to kill me. Why did he want to kill you? Oh, no. <sighs> no, no, In no. case I told you. You tell him, he will kill you. That he cannot satisfy a woman. You won't say anything, will you, Sigurd? I won't tell anyone. Yeah, you will. Can't keep your mouth shut. Poor Ivor. <laughs> He's told everybody already. Jesus. She's terrified of him. So am I, Sigurd. So am I. Yeah, you should be. He's smart. He's got the skill and nothing to lose. 
he could fight all of you sitting down. Uh, so good to see the old school uh, pagan tradition again here. There's been too much civility going on. I know. Oh, screw all that. Performing the ceremony without her, huh? You're asking for trouble. That's her son leading the thing. That is a little inappropriate, I think. Mm-hmm. She has a stake in this, too. Yeah. Oh, my. What's... What? No. Why are you drinking that? I want you to know that I can never forgive you for taking away my husband and my world. Are you, like, high on mushrooms? You call yourself queen, but you will never be queen in Cat Cat. Uh, something's gonna happen. Mm-hmm. There's certainly no love lost between them. What are you taking your heart up for? I have to bribe people to sail with me. Why don't you come and help me lift, cripple boy? <laughs> oh, by the way, I might kill the queen in your absence. That's what she should have said to her last <laughs> night. I'll most likely kill you in the morning. <laughs> right. <laughs> dread pirate Agatha. Yeah. Agatha, yeah. The dread pirate Lagatha. I love it. <laughs> What a beautiful dragon you've built for us, Floki. Now let's fly her to Rome. Look at this place. Who's this? That is King Ip. Mm. Can I keep it? Yeah, sure. And who exactly is going to pay for all this, young Ifa? I thought he just wanted a souvenir. He had a he had a purpose in mind. These are old dudes. Ragnar, is this your crew? Take it! Ah! That's a good choice. What are you doing, father? Don't give me that. No. Mind your own business. Yeah. Have you changed your mind? Perhaps. With that, I will sail with you. That's a lot. Oh, father. Take it! He's desperate. None of y'all will go with him, so... Right? Take it! Take it! I don't like seeing him like this. Yeah, but he knows there's no other way. I wish he'd feel like he didn't have to do this. My wife. We both know that love was not what brought us together. But you've endured me. you suffered my words. And my neglect. You never turned our sons against me. I am sure that there are times when you've hated me, but you never poisoned their minds. Damn. With all my heart, I am grateful to you. Why are you saying this now? Because it needed to be said. I got no words there. That's uh, wow. <laughs> I didn't, I swear. You're lying. Hush. <laughs> believe you. Just let me lie here beside you. Do you have to torment her? I mean, come on. Why are you like this? Just a messed up dude. She already has zero control of her life. Love be a tornado. <laughs> oh no, we can't have prophecies from you ever again, okay? <laughs> somehow in danger this kid's always in danger man he crawls on the ground to get where he's going true you can't go it's going to be a storm everything will end in disaster you've seen that i've seen it you've seen something we don't know that's what it is all my life you have been suffocating me paying me so much special attention that's true now poor Ivar has a chance finally to prove himself I will not let you take that away from me, mother. You will die, Ivar. I don't care if I die. That's gonna happen one day anyway. Right. Just one day with my father, being a man. That's worth a lifetime of pity. Be a proper Viking. Yes. 
He can't just stay here and, like, rot away the rest of his life. Right. Oh. Crutches, huh? Do what you gotta do, man. Yeah. They would dual purpose. Actually, yeah, they do, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> He's got the crutches of a warrior. Look at this boy. He's not gonna be stopped. <laughs> Wipe that smile off your face. You... All right, now. We've got a tight to catch. <laughs> He's still a better fire than all these old guys, though. He might be. I like that, though. He's treating him no better, no worse, you know? Yeah. I just don't know how much I trust this React Tag group of warriors they got, though. I mean, you had to bribe him to get him on the boat. You all right? <laughs> Well, I'd say you gotta get your sea legs under you, but, uh... <laughs> I'm terrified of what There's plenty of worse ways to die than to jump. Yeah, that didn't help. Give all of three ships for this raid. This doesn't feel like a raid. Mom might be right. What are you doing? Oh, he's gonna tie him to the mast. Oh, good. I just had that exact same thought. Come on, boy. This is a good experience for you. It's just a little rain. Woo! Ooh. Okay. Sure there's little rain. wells out there. Yeah, these guys are gonna die. What is going on with her? I don't know. Be all right, Ivor. Oh. Oh, they're getting overtaken by the wave. And he's stuck to that mast. What the hell? I wish she called it. There's no way that happened in history. No, definitely not. Well, I mean, if that's where they're ending this, then this is still only the beginning. Right. Well, I tell you, would that they had weather channels back in the day. <laughs> they mean, might have found better day to go to England. <laughs> maybe, but I mean, it probably takes them a few days to get there, too. It's not like they can just, you know, get the two-day forecast and be like, okay, we're good to go. No, but it would have been nice to know, like, where patterns were going, <laughs> so... And even then, modern-day forecasting is not 100% accurate, either. No, that's true. Yeah, that's a shame. I have no idea where they were in relation to England, but hopefully close, I would say. But, but I mean, you really kind of caught that one head-on, didn't you? Right. Like you said, this this can't be how it ends, because we know for a fact that this is not how either of them one dies. But you kind of have to wonder now, assuming they do survive, what do you do? You had a small force to begin with, and now they're gone. That's a good question. Well, at least we think they are. If those two survive, then you'd think that there'd be some others, too. Perhaps. I mean, what are you going to do with, you know, a handful of guys? I I guess it's, not like, it's not like you went in there with an army to begin with, so... Right, but, like, Egbert can control, like, half of England at this point, so, like, what are you going to do? I don't know what he's planning on doing anyway, so... <laughs> you weren't going to go and get revenge with those three boats. You're, at that best, you were going to go on a raid. A very small raid, but yeah. A very yes. small raid, because, well, a little bit bigger than the one he went on the, uh, you know, in the first season. Right. Because he only showed up with one boat that first time. This time, he's actually got three, three, three. but they're all full of geriatrics. <laughs> exactly. So, three boats of old men. Who yeah. Aren't gonna much good. So I got no clue what the what the plan is here. And one of your passengers can't walk, so... Which makes things even more difficult. Yeah. Now, granted, I don't know how he is actually in a real fight. For mm -hmm. all I know, he, he can handle himself just fine. But like, how are you going to traverse the English countryside? Well, you, you get enough to carry him. You can't, those crutches are, are sharp. They're just going to get him stuck everywhere he goes. Probably. My, my other concern, too, is what's going on here with uh, Lagertha and Auslog? Oh, you know. <laughs> granted, this has been boiling for years. Granted, yes, they've never liked each other from the beginning. But, you know, they seem to have coexisted just fine for the last, you know, 10, 15, 20 years, and now suddenly they have an issue with each other. There, there is a timing factor there. I don't, I don't blame you. 
I think what sent this one over the over the top were two things. Number one, Lagertha's request being kind of rudely denied. True. To uh, to kind of co-host a, a sacrifice, mm -hmm. but then also doing the sacrifice anyway to send off Lagertha's son without Lagertha being present for it. Right. And it's like, all right, you don't need to whip it out like that. Where's your sense of compassion for one's parents, you know? Right, because this, this is Lagertha's son. You know, she has a vested interest in his survival. Yes. You would you would want Bjorn to be alive, especially for uh, Vitzirk's sake. Mm-hmm. Because Vitzirk has not been out there yet, from what I can tell. But Bjorn has lots of experience at this. Maybe, so. he could maybe... You could also make the argument, too, that she actually wants Bjorn to die on this trip, so that way the throne is secured for her sons, not Lagertha's. There is, there is a, something to be said about that, I be, think. Being yeah. Ragnar's eldest son, he would inherit the throne, I think, by right. I don't see a boy amongst those that can do anything about that. No, I don't either. Not even, not Uba, not not freaking Ivor, whatever, you know? Right. And plus, they all kind of look up to Bjorn. They all respect him anyway. Mm -hmm. So I don't see them actually having bloodlust for him, you know? No, I don't expect them to do that either. I think it's just a matter politics of... politics play, I get it. Right, it's really just all slog. You no, know, her blood comes before others. Fair enough. But I mean, that's Ragnar's blood too, so... You know, we see what people think about Ragnar. They're out there spitting on him in public. You know, from a politics standpoint, I see your point here, actually. What does that mean for Bjorn now? It's like, man, it's like blood will always tell for some of these guys. Mm -hmm. and it's like, yeah, right now you're a good person, but so was Ragnar when he was your age. Mm -hmm. For all I know, you'll become just like him when you're Ragnar's age now. It's prob That could be going through their heads, right? Well, I think a lot of it's going to be experience, too, because, you know, Ragnar has had to deal with a lot over the years up to this point. Bjorn was a kid for a while, and you know, he's been an adult for the last couple of seasons, but he's largely been just kind of following in his father's footsteps. Now that he actually is more independent, more of a man, as Ragnar said, you know, he's he's gonna be put in that position where he's gonna have to make more decisions on his own, and he's gonna have to make tough political decisions. I don't see Bjorn following in Dad's footsteps, though. It doesn't seem like they're they're on the same paths there. I see some similarities. I think the fact that he wants to go to Rome and, and encounter this other culture that he's never seen before is very much like how his father was wanting to go to England in the first place. I mean, maybe. The difference is, is that Bjorn's had a lot of experience in watching how Ragnar did things. Mm -hmm. You see, he's seen what he became. I'm sure he doesn't want to end up like that. So whatever Ragnar did before, I don't see Bjorn trying to do it again. Now, when it comes to like, what happens if you get in a prolonged siege like you had at Paris, for instance? Mm -hmm. What would Bjorn do differently? I don't know. Ragnar was a damn tactician when it came to that. I didn't see any of them have have a better idea other than let's storm in head first. Right. You know, in Bjorn's case, he has experience of fighting those kind of walls. Now he's probably gonna have a lot easier time of it anywhere else he goes. Because if, if you can if you can besiege Paris, there's really not a whole lot out there that's gonna be worse than that to deal with. Maybe. But you saw how they got into Paris. They right. they had to trick him. Well, the other thing I'm thinking too is they were talking about you know what if he has to go and meet with Rolo. And, you know, Bjorn's like, you know, I have to be practical about this. I can't just be like, well, you know, I hate you, and therefore I'm not going to deal with you. He's like, if I need to rely on Rolo's help, I'll do what I can. Let's say there is some benefit to having family in high position of power like that mm -hmm. in a different part of the world. They're probably, they probably should get over themselves a little bit on this, you know? Because well, this opens other doors if you can make peace with Rolo. Absolutely, because if you can use their land as a staging point for more incursions out there, absolutely. Yeah. But then also, too, because, you know, it is his uncle. I imagine Rolo's not going to share the same hatred of Bjorn that he did for his brother Ragnar. So th that, that relationship should work out, I would think. I would hope so. But we'll see, man, because there's a there's no love there right now, I don't think. You, know, you, you did fight him head on. Right. We'll see. And it's probably been years since any of them have seen each other. Rolo might just be happy to see another Viking. What, in France? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, because it's, it's just been him, right? It's just him and all that French culture, and he's just like, oh, this is driving me crazy. <laughs> Jesus, right? <laughs> That's hilarious. He might have gone full French. That'd be interesting. Like, he like he might be soft and, like, unbattle-tested again. I don't oh, know. God. He just gained weight. Yeah, just, like, looks like King Ayla now. Oh, yeah. God. <laughs> Poor Rolla. You know, like King Robert from Game of Thrones or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that could be him now. He dies in a boar hunting accident, yeah. <laughs> No, if anything, he'll die. You know, he'll die in his chamber pot. Oh God! If he's gone like that, <laughs> that'd be his fate. For the moment, it does appear that whatever dream Auschlag had has kind of come true. 
It didn't look like there was a tornado that did it, but it was at sea nonetheless. It's still a bad storm. And I don't know what was going on with her, why she was covered in blood. I don't get that either. I don't know if she made a sacrifice or... Just... Or if she was stabbing herself. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I still don't think that anything's going to happen to those two. I think they're yeah. going to be fine. I do. And I'm kind of with Ivor on this when he was talking to his mother. It's like, you've been babying me all this time. Mm -hmm. and it's like, let me go out and be a man. Well, that's the thing, you know, he's growing up with all these stories about his father's accomplishments and the accomplishments of all these other great Viking warriors. And he loves his father. And, or he really admires him. Right, but I have to think, too, you know, as a Viking man, he wants that opportunity to get a Valhalla. He's not going to get it, you know, sitting around in the throne room. No, Ashlug should know better, you know? Yeah. If you if you truly believe in that, you need to let this guy have his moment. He's just really been babying them too much, and sadly we kind of see that with all the boys. They just have no interest to go out and actually live the Viking way. Well, he had an opportunity to go to Valhalla, as far as I was concerned, when he was first born. It's like, cause to no fault of his own, he was born crippled. And I'm sure the gods would have looked on that with mercy and said, we'll take him back, you know? If, Maybe. That, if that's the way it goes, I don't know. I don't know either. I don't know for sure how that would work. Especially back then, because you no know, cultures were very sensitive about that kind of thing. They were known for casting away dis disabled kids, so... Regardless, uh, we'll see where this path leads. Yeah. I was just going to say, you know, if, if you know any more about how that works for uh, the kids, let us know, fam. That'd be great. Yeah. That's going to do it for us, guys. On to the next episode. As always, if you're brand new to the channel, I hope you'll consider subscribing and help us grow. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and hit the bells to receive notifications every time we drop a new one. And should you feel compelled to give us a piece of your mind, do so in the comments. While you're at it, take a look at us on our socials. We're on Instagram and TikTok. See what we're up to over there, guys. But as always, this is Cocktail Flicks. I'm Joe. I'm Dan. And we'll catch you on the flip side. Skull fam. Skull Dan. Skull Joe. Later, guys.